Hey, we're back, man. You know, we got this beautiful salmon over here. It's going to be on sale at KTA. So I asked Chef Patrick, hey, does this bottle work with salmon? He told me, oh, of course. So hey, he told me he's going to try to make the thing really different and crispy. So yeah, you guys all watch this. Now, great Father's Day dinner. Okay, come on, Chef. Oh, sure, absolutely. Dads love salmon. Uh, basically, the uh, this this butter has a is a great uh, way to saute uh, the any type of fish. It's good for melting on top of a pre, uh, pre cooked fish. But what we can do is we can get this butter nice and hot and cut a couple pieces. I don't want to cut your fingers. Uh -huh, okay. <laughs> We're gonna cut a couple little pieces. Okay. Tell me about this salmon here. This is a this is a wild salmon, uh, and you can tell because of the dark orange oh. color. It's a deep. You can tell that this fish has been. Uh, you know, sometimes you see the farm raised. It has more of like a like a bright orange. Oh. This deep dark color is actually uh, because this fish has been feeding off like natural oh. Oh. Uh, like shrimp in so the what, ocean. So uh, flavor. Beautiful flavor. Oh, very, beautiful very nice. flavor. Yeah. We're gonna just put that you in know, here. our cameraman, he goes Alaska fishing like that. And oh. He brings back these nice salmon here too. Yeah, this, yeah. this is the beautiful flavor. And then what's gonna happen is, is this butter is gonna start turning a little brown. Oh, and, you see? And that's called, uh, it turns into a bernoisette, which gives it a nutty taste. So it, it actually uh, caramelizes basically. And the salmon gives it a crispy texture. You notice he puts the, um, the meat side down first. Always, yeah. Right, always, yeah. always meat side down first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then you want to make sure that you get the nice crispy uh, to hold the juices in. Okay. When you flip it over, that's when you kind of let it let it uh, finish cooking because you're going to end up with that crispy skin. Oh, oh, like, right? oh, my, my whole, all my kids, my wife, everybody loves the crispy skin. Oh, I love crispy skin. Yeah. But this is going to be basically a, making its own little sauce in here. Oh, too. look at that. Oh, yeah, nice. Hey, how's my partner frying pan here, George? Uh, and Peter? This is uh, this is the nicest fry pan oh, I've ever made. You see, <laughs> all you guys out there, George, you see the frying pan. Awesome frying pan. Oh, look at that, man. So you serve this, you can put it over yeah, pasta. Oh, oh look nice. at that skin. Oh, oh. You saw that skin. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait. Maybe we could have John's wife on. <laughs> Come on, Cheryl. Why don't we have a uh, uh, taste tester? Okay, let, let's have John's wife taste this. Get a little piece out there. Yeah. Huh? You guys, Come on. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right there, right there. There you go. And here's John's wife, Cheryl. Man, I tell you, isn't she just the most beautiful right person in the world? And she's just the nicest person. Okay, Cheryl. Taste test. Very hot. What do you think? Oh, delicious. Oh, awesome. Okay. I like the skin. Yeah, you like the yeah, skin. Me too. You know, the wild skin gets crispier than the mm. farm rates, too. Good, you see? Very good. Mm. Awesome. See, better than the husband's cooking. <laughs> awesome. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. bye. Aloha and thank you so much for joining us on Seniors Living in Paradise. We're having so much fun today with the Hilo High School class of 1940 celebrating their 70th class reunion. Unbelievable. And you know I get really upset when I attend these reunions and these people look younger and they act younger than me. <laughs> but here are my friends, the co-chairs, Shizu Akamine and we have uh, Helen Young. Uh, both of them are the co-chairs for this event. Uh, ladies, this is a 70th, 70th reunion, right? Yes. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to go back 70 years. How many classmates had that year? Yes, uh, the graduating class was 510. Yeah. That included the Smith Youth class. You remember? Mm -hmm. We had a special yeah. class. Yeah. Well, it included those boys. Over 500 classmates. 10. This yeah. is in 1940, yeah. mind you. I see. And then today, how many showed up? Yes, uh, present today is 39 of the. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's terrific! Yeah. So, what kinds of activities, Mrs. Young? What What are you guys going to be doing today? Oh, we have a special candle lighting ceremony oh. for our deceased classmates during the last five years, I and see. we have 45. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. You You know, I heard that this might be your last reunion. Yes. No. We're getting. <laughs> That's what she and I was talking about. <laughs> this might be our last hurrah. We've you know, been you working know, on it for the last 40.
40 years. Yeah, so you, I, you, you know, everybody in this class is 88. 88, 89. I'm going 88, 89, and that's still young. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> so what other kinds of things are you guys going to be doing today? Yes, uh, we have a slideshow mm -hmm. that covers from our 25th reunion to the 65th reunion. I and uh, I spent three days to select the photographs. My daughter took three days to prepare the slide, so you can see how involved it was. Yeah. Hey, hey, these people, they come from all over here, do you? Yes, yeah. yes. The father is away, he's from New York. Stanford from somebody from New York? Right, oh. yeah. And we have a couple that came from California, mm -hmm. and we have uh, uh, several people from Honolulu. Mm -hmm. Hey, congratulations, you guys. We're going to be talking to some of your Thank classmates. You. So Thank, you. Yes. Right. Thank you, George. Thank you very much, George. Hey, I'm talking to some of the 1940 graduates from Hilo High School, Mr. Atsuo Nishioka and his wife, Mary and Nishioka. You know why I'm talking to them? Somebody told me that they were boyfriend, girlfriend from high school. That's right. Not necessarily. <laughs> Those were the days eh? yeah. we are afraid of the girl. Oh, you're afraid of the girl. <laughs> but they told me for seven, from, from high school, well, 70 years. Boyfriend, girlfriend, they got married and they're staying together. What a beautiful couple. Mrs. Nishioka, and what do you think of the reunion? I think it's just terrific. Mm -hmm. We're old, but then we're here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm talking to uh, Hilo High School principal, current uh, Robert Dirks, and we're talking about the class of 1940. He has a big smile on his face, folks, because they've donated so much fun funding, you know, uh, to scholarships, local scholarships. But Mr. Dirk, you, you're very, very fortunate, you know, to be principal at Hilo High School with this kind of people in back of you. Oh, definitely. I, I have to say that, first of all, being in their midst is an honor for me, uh, but more so when I know that they still have the heart of the Hilo High School uh, in their minds, that they still are willing to give of themselves towards the school, and outstanding. And I, I, I don't know what I could do without their effort and their support. Wow. You don't understand, they first donated something like uh, $18,000, you know, from their class funds, and in the last 20 years, They've donated over 20,000, making a total of 38,000 so far. That is unbelievable. You know, not all of our classes have come and risen to that level uh, of donation, especially from the alumni. So I hope they set the, the yeah, bar. Yeah, set the bar, and then other classes can take it, you know, try to match yes, them yes. up. Yeah. But, I, you know, I, I, again, I appreciate this group so much. They're just full of the Viking spirit. You know, one, one uh, gentleman said to me, he says, once a Viking, always a Viking. Always but, a oh my Viking. goodness, that's exactly what we stress today to our alumni and to our current students. Hey, thank you so much for Thank joining you. us. Thank you very much.